On September the 4th, 1942, a memorial service for those killed on Macon Island was held at Camp Catlin. Colonel Carlson delivered the eulogy. We are gathered here today to honor the memory of our comrades who remain at Macon. We miss them. Each had a special place among us, and that place is imperishably his. Being human, we mourn the loss of each. But I believe that these gallant men, who so eagerly, so willingly went forth to meet the enemy, would not have us weep and bemoan their passing. They loved life, those comrades of ours. They were vital, eager, thoughtful, and realistic. They had convictions, and they lived those convictions even to the point of sacrificing their lives. They are still with us in spirit. Allard, with his boyish smile. Johnson, with his strange scowl. Jerry Holton, with his lumbering stride and eager, half-embarrassed manner. And the others. You know the characteristics of each as well as I. Who will say that the spirit of all of these men we knew so intimately does not remain with us? It was not possible to render honors to these fallen comrades on the field of battle. I did what I could. I went to each as he lay with his face towards the enemy. I placed each on his back that he might rest more easily, and I said a silent prayer over each. With the native Gilbertese, I arranged for each to be given a Christian burial, and so they lie there today, in the soil of the delightful South Pacific island, beneath the palms under which they won their victory. It behooves us to remain, to rededicate ourselves to the task that lies ahead. The convictions of these comrades are our convictions. With the memory of their sacrifice in mind, let us here dedicate ourselves to the task of bringing into reality the ideals for which they died that their sacrifice will not have been in vain. We salute you, comrades. We salute you as raiders, as Marines, as Americans, as men. God bless you.